Hi guys, hope you're all well. So carrying on from last week's video, I thought I'd do another collective thrifted items haul, um, a collection of my favourite stuff. And this week I thought I'd do favourite thrifted handbags. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Blech. Why can't I talk today? Yesterday I ordered a tripod, finally, so I'll be able to um, start filming those styling videos that I said I would weeks ago. Um, so yeah got those to look forward to. So yeah, I'm just going to get on with the video. Now the first handbag is this one. Um, it's just a really classic red one with a brown strap and it says it's from Clubhouse Jane Shilton. Um, this one was a little bit more pricey and by pricey I mean pricey for a charity shop, like I'm not a real cheapskate. Well, a bit, I, well I am a bit but um, <laughs> Yeah, in a charity shop, I don't usually like to spend more than a fiver. It's just what I'm like. Anyway, this was five pounds. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a more pricier handbag. But I looked this up on the internet when I got home and it actually retails for about 80 pound, which is crazy. Um, but it's this really nice leather material. Um, it's just got this little magnetic um, fastener. And then it's just got a couple of compartments inside, this one on the front and then just one inside I'm not going to show you because it's really messy inside but yeah this is one of my favourites, it's a really classic looking bag um, it is usually the main focus of an outfit so I wear black a lot so this is always um, great to contrast with a black outfit and um, yeah, so this is one of my favourites. One of my next favourites is something I don't really wear very much anymore, but um, when qu when quilted handbags were in, were in fashion a bit more, um, I'd wear it all the time. And it's this quilted bag, and it reminds me of like um, one that Chanel would sell. And it's got this gold chain um, strap, and it just goes into a black part here and this really nice quilted front and then it's just plain on the back um, it's quite a large handbag but I usually like to have large bags because I've got such a big purse and um, yeah usually a lot of my bags don't sorry if you can hear music my brother's just decided to play music really loudly yeah usually I can't fit everything in my bag because I have to take my purse and I always take um, my glasses, I'm shoving those in and I usually just have a lot to carry, like big bulky things so I quite like to have big handbags. Um, again it's got another magnetic holder, um, it's got, sorry, hair on it, um, it's got, it says Fior, is that how you say it? Fior, F-I-O-R-E, all over the uh, front so I guess that's the make of the bag. Um, again it's messy inside but it's just got a nice big compartment and then a um, zipped compartment at the side. I wish it said Chanel on the front, that would be so nice. Um, but this was, oh, I can't remember, it was so long ago but I think it was just a couple of pound. Um, but yeah, I do really like this bag, I probably should wear it more often. So yeah, this is another one of my favourites. So the next bag, I've all shown you this before. Um, and yeah, this is one of my favourites, favourite favourites, and this was only a pound, which makes it even more of one of my favourites, because I just love how you can get something so cheap, it just makes it more, not special, but I don't know, I would just treasure it more, because it, you, as, you can, like, as you can see, it's definitely worth more than a pound, and I just love that I got it for a pound. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, it's got this strap here that you can unfasten, um, if you really wanted to carry it around like this, it would probably look a bit silly. But, um, yeah, and then it's just got this really nice clasp on the front, sorry it's got a bit of makeup on it, um, and a handle, and then it's got three compartments, it's got, it's got three compartments, it's got one at the front, one in the middle, and, um, another one behind that. This is what I'm saying about fitting my purse in. Ignore my purse because it's just, oh, I don't know, it's just awful, it's like all broken and falling apart but this is how clumpy it is and fitting it in something like this is a really tight squeeze so um, this isn't really a practical bag for carrying purses and stuff but it's really nice for a night out um, or anything like that um, and this is black and it's just a really nice classy looking bag like I um, don't know you could wear like a really girly outfit with it and it would just really make it look smart 
So yeah. The next bag was one of my all time favourites, but unfortunately it's just had it now. It's just so, it's just fallen to bits, but I'm going to show you anyway because I think it was such a nice find. But um, it's this burgundy bag and it's got this really nice um, like quilted, quilted? I don't know, really nice material on it. Um, and this little fastener here. And then the same on the back. I think it's just so unique looking and I love it. And then it's got this um, strap. But if you look underneath, it's just like shredded to bits. And it's just, I got, obviously I got it um, second hand. Maybe it was even used more than, um, maybe it was even owned by more than one owner. But it's just, oh, it's just had it. And I would like to get it repaired because I do really love this bag. But the, at the minute it just hasn't, I just haven't used it anymore because... Yeah, because that's why. <laughs> the magnetic bit's even gone on it, so let's see. Yeah, so sad. I love this bag. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you what a great find it was. Um this again was probably about two or three pound. Um if anyone knows how to repair bags, please let me know. So the second from last bag is something I've also shown on here before but for all of you that haven't seen this is going to be a first and I love this bag it was only a pound it's so nice it's just a really classic 40s 50s looking bag it's really nice brown leather like really great quality it's got these two little gold bits down the bottom um, and this is just the back it is um, you know a bit roughed up but I think it just gives it um, a bit more character um, and it's got this nice fastener on the front um, and it's like two tiered, I really like the look of that and then um, it's got this gorgeous like suede bit, it's just such such good quality for a pound um, and then it's just got two compartments again full of crap I never empty my bags, it's so bad um, but yeah, love this bag um, again it's another really nice classy looking bag so you can wear it with like a really girly or classy looking outfit um, yeah I just love it another great find and the last bag is another I don't know maybe yeah maybe like another like 50s looking bag and it's just this plain navy blue one it's quite a small one it's just got these gold details um, on either side and a, a, and it's got an adjustable strap um, yeah, this is just a really simple bag. I wear this um, usually for nights out because it's a lot smaller. Um, and yeah, it's just got a compartment inside and it's got a zip here and another magnetic fastening. And yeah, just another bag that you can wear with any kind of outfit. Um, I just love my classic looking bags. Um, I just love the unique look that they have. I was thinking the other day about how depressed I am that we, our charity shops in England are like, aren't like um, like thrift stores in America like if you're from America and you haven't been to an English charity shop then you would be ashamed like <laughs> it's insane like you, um, our charity shops are so so small just like a little tiny shop because I know that um, you've got like goodwill and stuff like that which are like a huge doors and rails and rails but if you came to our ones you'd just be like what is this you typically get about um, I don't know, two, three, four rails of women's clothes, that's all you get. You get about a rack this wide um, of shoes, that's all you get. Um, it's like, it's such a, it's hard to explain but it's like, um, charity shops here are typically where older people dump their clothes off where they don't want them anymore, so they always have this like, old people musky smell to them and it's like the charity shop itself is usually like that as well it's like um small and i don't know smells of second hand clothing and there's hardly any any options um and such a small variety of clothes um and then when I just see the ones on um they like on the fashion citizens videos when they go to like goodwill and they've just got insane amounts of clothes and um, and shoes and you just wonder why it's not like that in England I have no idea why if anyone can let me know please tell me but um, it'd be so amazing to go there and go shopping there I just love to so much because you could create so many amazing outfits which they do um, 
and you know I try my best with what we've got here but it's just nothing like what you have in America um, and it makes me really upset because I'd love to have a chance to go to those kind of thrift shops um, so yeah if anyone there's a little ramble but if anyone knows the answer please let me know maybe I should um, start my own I don't know charity shop business and just make them into huge stores I know America is such a huge country, maybe that's got something to do with it, you know, more um, more clothes to give, um, so there's just such an abundance of um, second-hand things, but I don't know. Anyway, ramble over, I hope you um, enjoyed my collection of favourite thrifted handbags. Um, please like, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please leave me a comment and please subscribe. I've also just bleached my hair two more times and put a directions white toner in it let me know what you think of it I've got rid of all my roots um, and I want it to go a lot lighter but it's still not that light after bleaching it twice and putting a toner in it I'm really surprised that it's not like a white color let me know what you think maybe I should go lighter maybe it should go white I don't know let me know what you think um, but yeah. so please take time to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video I'm actually just gonna film another one now um, so yeah, I'll see you next time, bye.